Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show and I'm back in my family room of our house here in Florida and I'm about ready to tackle a huge custom project on my own here and I'm going to make a feature wall, actually two feature walls. This one here, uh, all the way up I'm going to do a special peel and stick tile that looks like a stone gray background and then I'm going to repurpose this cabinet here with the fireplace in it and build that in with a uh, stacked stone uh, around it. And then I'm, I have also a TV lift that I ordered right here. And that TV lift is gonna go behind this fireplace here, up against that wall there, and lift the TV up. Now I'm gonna try to use this bigger TV here. This is about a 75 inch TV. If that won't fit or work in my purpose here, I've got another size one that's a little bit smaller. and. Uh, I'm also going to have a beam because there's no light in here. I'm struggling to make this video for you because there's no light back here to work in and it's going to be tough. But I already added an outlet up here and up here I'm going to put a beam, a wood looking beam up there. It's going to be a faux beam and then lights will be behind that shining up toward the ceilings and also down the wall there. And then over here I ordered a faux beam to go up and cover the top of that screen right there so when we raise our TV screen up it'll be uh, just wall and the wall there we're gonna get rid of this cabinet the wall there is gonna be faux stone up to the beam with light shining down on, on the stone so that's my idea stick around I'm gonna keep you guys up to date and informed on my progress and how it goes hope you enjoy TV lift went in successfully. It wasn't too difficult to do. I guess I just wanted to make sure it worked first. This is one of my favorite TV shows, by the way, and I was testing it out this evening, and it's working great. This TV we are we had in our bedroom before. Actually, we had it over there, and then we got the projection screen, and I removed that uh, TV, this TV from behind the screen just recently to put it over here. So. So it will all work for our project. And I plan on using this as a security monitor as well as a double TV that I can pair up maybe earbuds to and watch something while my wife would want to watch the ID channel. She loves that channel and she'll just watch it on repeat and it just gets too much for me. Or I could play a video game on this one, PlayStation, whatever you want. And I'm going to show you how this works. This is... Uh, Pretty unique TV, and I'm going to leave the links to all the products that I use within this remodel, uh, redecoration project in case you want to do something similar or take this or that out of my project because it's going to be pretty big and maybe use one of the items or a few of the items for a project that you might want to take on. So right now we'll go ahead and lower it. So you just hit the low button, the arrow down. There it goes. I love that. I love the automation stuff. And it's going to be more impressive once I get the uh, fireplace built in front of it with a mantle on top. Then you're going to just see it disappear. But this is just the test run I'm showing you ahead of time. Stay tuned. guys this is our current status on our current project in our family room we're making slow progress it's a lot of details we got to incorporate here because we are slicing and dicing up this 
a furniture piece that was a built-in fireplace built into it. We're going to keep the fireplace in it, but I'm, uh, I've sliced it up and this is actually going to be raised off the floor a little bit. And this telescoping TV will sink right down into it. And then over here, that's phase two. I haven't gotten that yet. You know, I know what I'm going to do, but we're waiting on the order to come in for the stacked stone to go on that wall over there. But over here, we're waiting on the stacked stone to go below there. And also, we're going to do wood planks all the way up to the ceiling. Guys, all the way up there, we're going to do that plank wall. And it's going to be pretty good with smart home features with smart lighting and a beam right here so stay tuned I'm using this uh, sheeting board. This is like a quarter inch thick sheet plywood. Uh, two by four section, I've got some saws here. I did my cutout measurements and we'll be facing the fireplace with this board here. And then when we get our faux stone, which is similar to this stone here, it's a different uh, color package but the faux stone I can apply adhesive and also screw it into this wood to keep it secured on the wall in place once we receive that order. Let's dry fit this, see if it works. Fits in place here, we'll see. Yeah, it's gonna work good. Just a little bit more to go. I got a new tool for this next phase of the project. It's a Ryobi Airstrike battery operated nail staple gun. And I'm using these boss stitch, one inch, 18 gauge brad nails. I got a couple packs. I'm gonna uh, also nail on the uh, the uh, slats that are above the fireplace wall. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and try this new Ryobi nailer.
Raise TV. Guys, you might be asking, what kind of products did I use during this installation, uh, part one of my entertainment walls? And there's a couple items I think you might be interested in. The first item I used uh, were LED lights behind the TV that lifts up. I used these LED lights. I'll leave the link in the description below this video. They work very well. As you see in the video, they're very bright. They are multicolored and I'm able to operate them with Alexa devices. So I automated them actually with routines so that when it goes to lower, it changes them to red so you know that the unit is gonna power down. So that's pretty unique, something you can do different and really impress your friends and family when they come over your house if you decide to do a project similar to this or just on your own TV that you may already have. The adhesion on this uh, works very well compared to past LED lights I've used on my on the back of my TVs and they also have like a W-shaped cut on the LED strip makes it easier to wrap a corner so when you got to wrap all the way around your TV on the back of the set the corner is easier to make with this LED strip so I highly recommend these the next thing guys was the remote how did I activate uh, by telling Alexa to raise my television set and lower it just by voice. Now you could use an RF controller uh, hub, which I do have one of those, but those are kind of flaky still yet. I've seen it go offline a few times during the day and then come back online or I have to unplug it and reboot it. I do uh, highly recommend the SwitchBots. This is the actual remote for the TV lift system. It's got upper and lower button and a memory button for the middle. I don't use the memory because I have it going all the way up and all the way down, one or the other. <clears throat> so I bought two switch bots. Cool. If you haven't seen the video of, of my switch bots, uh, I'll leave the link above this video. You can check that out. It's a very cool product and it's got like a little finger that comes out of this. Notice I had to put some spacers. They come with the switch bot and they adhered real good to the button, the top of the buttons there. So it gives it a little bit more pressure when they come down. I'll show you. <clears throat> Amazon. Raise TV. There you have it. Works great. I love these switch bots. So that's how I did that. Echo, lower TV. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So that's it guys, this sums it up. Part one of my entertainment walls remodeling. Still have the rest of this one and then the projector wall to go. Next week I'll be releasing part two of this video series and that's gonna be uh, attaching the planks to this wall behind the fireplace enclosure all the way up to the ceiling. And we'll see how good that goes. It should go good with my Ryobi nail gun nailer that I used today putting on the sheeting and that worked really well. No cords, no air hoses, works great. I'll leave all the links to the products and tools I use below. Also the cabinet went in as you see, very good. We've got uh, the two cabinet compartments on each end of the fireplace. It's got heat built in and different lighting adjustments you can set. And the stack stone is on order. That should be in around Christmas, along with a mantle that goes on top there. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you subscribe so you don't miss part two and part three, possibly part four of this project series. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next video. But I rose up from the ground just like I was before.